Who knew, besides your agent, who knew that you were doing this? I mean, how hard is that to keep it yeah. to, like, I mean, it's, it's your family knew? Yeah, my dad, my brother. Okay. Um, and, my, and my mother at the time, and yeah, just, just kind of us. Yep, that right there is Andrew Garfield admitting he lied to everyone but his family about his super secret Spider-Man No Way Home role. I still can't believe it, it, it happened. The 38-year-old actor even lied to E.T. the past year on more than one occasion. There's a lot of chatter of the is he or isn't he when it comes to the next Spider-Man. <laughs> so let me just ask you. I didn't know what you were gonna ask then. I was like, is he or isn't he what? Like, what's the, where's this going? Well, where is it going? Have to you tell me. There are rumors galore that you will be in Spider-Man No oh, Way man. Home. <laughs> you, oh boy, you... listen, what people are talking about <laughs> is a really cool idea. And, and, and again, I haven't received a phone call. But now the movie is out. So when Andrew visited the Ellen DeGeneres show, he revealed how many years he had to keep up the secret. How long did it take to make the movie? <laughs> it was like a couple of years, right? It, it, how many years did you lie to people? <laughs> <laughs> that is an unfair framing. <laughs> um, it was, uh, yeah, I lied to people for a good two years and uh, I lied to the internet for two years and it felt great. Great. And get this, for the Tick Tick Boom star, keeping the role under wraps was actually fun for him. It was fun to keep it secret. Cause you know when you're planning a surprise birthday party yes. for someone? Yeah. And they're like, I hate surprises. Tell me is the party happening? So it felt like I was part of organizing a surprise birthday party for a bunch of people who I knew would appreciate it. Andrew took his Spidey responsibility so seriously, he even lied to Emma Stone, who played his on-screen love interest, Gwen Stacy, and is his ex-girlfriend. Emma kept on texting me and she was like, are you in this new Spider-Man film? And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. What? You're still walking Emma to? She was like, shut up, just tell me. I'm like, I honestly don't know what, I kept it going even with her, it's hilarious. Um to the end you never admitted to emma no and then she and then she saw it she was like you're a jerk the oscar nominee first played peter parker in 2012's the amazing spider-man and reprised his role for the film's 2014 sequel the amazing spider-man 2. should maybe uh, consider coming in through the lobby <laughs> also my father is under the impression that you require psychiatric attention peter what happened? What happened? You should see the other guy. And now that fans have seen him in the Spidey suit once again, Andrew feels a sense of relief. And I'm so happy that I get to talk about it now. Yeah. Here's what the actor told E.T. about his big return to the MCU. And the fact that I get to be one of those people wearing the suit next to my actual Spider-Man hero, Tobey Maguire, and the, the, the brilliant, incredibly talented, heartfelt, funny, good, sweet, perfect Spider-Man of Tom Holland and then I get to be the middle brother and I get to be like in awe of my older brother and in full longing to protect my younger brother and just like and also there's something spiritual that that kind of happened and happens and that we were exploring in the film which is like you know archetypally the character is so alone mm -hmm. the, the the isolation that the, that's a big important part of the character in, in terms of the canon of Spider-Man for me anyway and I think one of the reasons why I think it's so appealing to so many people around the world is that feeling of solitude that we can all, and loneliness maybe is a better word, that we can all relate to. And the question on everyone's mind, will Andrew do it again? You know, never say never. I mean, it's such, it's, it's a character that's always gonna be so meaningful to me and so beautiful to me and I'm open.